Hi, this is Kyle with Loop Community, and today we're going to be doing an overview of how to bring audio files into MainStage that you have exported from Logic or GarageBand. I've just completed working on a song in Logic, the song Indescribable, and I've exported each track to a separate WAV file and put them in a folder. I can see my song is in 6.8 at 86 beats per minute. I've just opened the Loop Community MainStage template, available for sale now at loopcommunity.com. First, I will save this set uh, corresponding to my performance. Let's say my performance was uh, for later this week, and we want to call it the big show. I will not select include assets, as we do not want to copy these uh, WAV and audio files to another folder. We will simply reference them from their current location for all sets that we do. In edit mode, we are able to adjust the parameters and adjust the patch name. I'll rename this first uh, patch to indescribable. Uh, simply double click on it to rename. Then at the bottom, I'll click on attributes, set the time signature to 6.8. Uh, our tempo was 86 beats per minute. I'll put it, that here in the patch properties. Perfect, I can now begin importing the WAV files that I have exported from Logic. On the right, we can see several tracks are pre-configured for us. I'll begin with the click track. By double-clicking on the playback plugin, it'll bring up a pop-up. This will allow us to choose what WAV file we want to load. Click the cog in the upper right-hand corner, open file, and I will pull up um, my folder for indescribable. Here are all of the tracks that got bounced, or all of the WAV files. And again, we want the click. You can see it loaded. Um, I'll leave all my settings here as default. These are also pre-configured in the main stage template at Loop Community. However, we will want to adjust the meter to be 6.8. Next, I'll do the cues, double-clicking on it, selecting the cog, open file for the cues. By default, there is one loop track uh, configured with a main stage template. I'll simply copy and paste this to correspond to the remaining individual uh, loop tracks I'll be bringing in. So I've selected the track, I will do Command C to copy, Command V to paste, and I'll simply paste several of these. When I double click on this, uh, we can begin selecting some of our loop tracks that I've bounced. Uh, let's start out with our, our collapse. Okay. So I don't get confused, I'll also begin labeling them here at the bottom. And I'll also uh, put these meters um, to include the level of the specific audio file. So I can first name this meter, this will be our claps. I will select this and assign it to the claps as well as level. So now if I played this, this meter would begin to show the level of the claps track that I've just imported. I'll move on to the next. I'll do the little blips and bleeps here. I'm renaming the track at the bottom. I'll put the text here to be bleep, bleeps. I'll set this to be my bleeps level. Move on here. We'll do our pad next. Pad, and we will assign uh, that meter to pad level. We're going to need a few more, so I'll go ahead and just copy a couple more loop tracks in. Here's our piano track. Make sure I'm on the right one here. Piano, perfect. We'll assign this to piano level. Again, give it a name at the bottom so we don't get confused. I 
And if I'm not mistaken, I believe strings is the last one. Let's rename it to strings. Excellent, that's all set. Uh, you'll notice the marker list here is still not currently assigned. I'll click on this now in edit mode. I'm going to assign it to the click playback. These are all of the markers, again, that I've created in Logic and exported it. This is the reason that we need to take a loops and bring them through Logic or GarageBand into MainStage. Uh, that allows the markers to come over as well. Great, everything else should be all set. If I wanted to at this point, I'll save my set, and I can, se I can select con or Command E to export this patch. Um, if I wanted to do this song uh, another time, I wouldn't want to have to go through all the trouble of bringing in these files and updating various parameters. So I can just save it as a patch file. So on my desktop, I'll create a new folder called Patches and put Indescribable in it. So if I happen to delete it, if I'm playing a new set at some other point, I can simply do Command I for import. There it is, my indescribable patch. You can see it's brought it back in with all my settings intact. All the same files are referenced. From here, I'm able to go to perform mode and begin playing.